it's been pretty chilly, but you said it's kind of passing us now. Yes, we are through the thick of the storm. We've made it, you guys. <laughs> We're only looking up from here. So we've got a few changes first. First things first, well, we've been sitting well below average for the past six days. Yesterday, high temperatures were 10 degrees below where we should be into those upper 50s. Instead, we were in the low to mid 40s across the region. Ephraim coming in at a high of just 40. Wapaka at 47. Speaking of 47, let's talk about 47 mile per hour wind gusts into Green Bay. Yeah, Gills Rock getting a 54 mile per hour wind gust. This is out in Egg Harbor. Those trees were just rocking and rolling. Leaves flying everywhere. Waves building. Gale warning out there as well. And it's not over just yet. Now the high wind warning has expired, but gusts still up to 30 miles miles per hour into Ephraim right now with the winds sustained a constant blowing wind at 20 miles per hour throughout Door County while the rest of us finally feeling some relief out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So our temperatures are below freezing into Manitowoc, Fond du Lac, all throughout the Fox Valley, Northwoods as well. But the worst part of it all is the wind chill. It feels like 17 degrees as you head out the door into Appleton, 18 into Watoma. It feels like 20 at Clintonville. Make sure you grab those hats the gloves, the thicker jacket as you head out the door today because it is going to be a crisp and cool one. You can see that still sitting wind chills into the teens all the way to Minneapolis and Sioux Falls. Speaking about the cold and how far it's made its way down to the south, whoo, Jackson, Mississippi just hit freezing 32 degrees. Little Rock is one degree away. Kansas City is sitting at 26 degrees. Those are basically the same temperatures as us here in the northeast Wisconsin. That is too far south this early in the season. Crops not doing too well. Freeze warning in effect all throughout those southern states. Frost advisory all the way to the coast of the Atlantic Ocean because of this system that we've been getting hit with as it slowly moved off to the east. It's now bringing that cold from those strong winds that far south. So of course a small craft advisory gale warning still in effect, which is going to expire here in the next few hours. So things are going to calm down here for us. A few clouds still hanging on to the north woods throughout Door County and by the lake, but the Fox Valley, you're going to be bright and beautiful here. The sun comes up in just one hour to the minute, and we're going to start to see this pressure, low pressure system ease up on us. So gusts up to 20 miles per hour today, still pulling in the crisp and cooler air, and of course knocking leaves off the trees. We are past peak now to Shawano. Menominee County, you're also past peak. This map has not updated just yet, but throughout the Fox Valley, still looking fantastic. Fox River looks vibrant out there. Clouds will clear by this afternoon. It's going to be poof, bright, beautiful, sunny, still chilly though, unfortunately, with below average temperatures and a few more clouds rolling in tonight. A nice week and weekends ahead as the warm front heads our way. We deserve it, but those winds are going to start to get gusty once again. So this is a little weak spot of the polar vortex returning to where it belongs. A little warm front will head our way, like I mentioned, and we're going to get some relief in these temperatures. These were our highs yesterday. Well, off to the west, look how lucky they were. Upper 60s, low 70s. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And we're going to look at the chances of 70s once again in October. We've had five days so far this October hit 70 degrees. So let's see if we can do that again. Not today, though. Sitting at the freezing mark right now, 32 degrees, climbing to those mid to upper 40s today. Sunshine will bring a lot of smiles to your faces. Tonight, it's going to be cold, dropping below freezing into those low to mid 30s. And tomorrow, how about some 50s? Still below average, but it's going to feel much better with those winds out of the west at only 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then the winds are going to crank out of the south, pulling in the 60s for your Friday and your Saturday. Hey, we could even hit the 70s on Saturday. Why not do it? Again on Sunday and into Monday as well. It is a brief warm up, a rare warm up, so I want you to soak it up because obviously another storm system comes right behind it. You know it's going to get colder and colder as we go on. Definitely, these days are limited, so gotta take advantage, do all the fall activities. Absolutely, glad it's on the weekends. Yes. Thanks, Brittany. Still to come. So